Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. Jeff hasn't been to Colorado in a few years, and so he had some business to do out here, so he decided to combine that with prairie dog season and rattlesnake season, which open on June 15th every year here in Colorado. I haven't been prairie dog shooting in a little while either, so it's time to break out the old B-Mag. And I actually broke it while I was out there. You see that wood chip? That's the bad side. That's the good side. It's really thin right there, but it doesn't affect the function, but I did break it, on it. Jeff arrived on Thursday, and by Friday morning we were convoying out to southeast Colorado. others we're going to share the week with. We got to the camping spot and we set up a really nice hooch. Jeff bought these mosquito nets that go on army cots. We got them sealed in the weather stripping of the doors to keep the bugs out at night. A nice screened little deal here. The problem was the floor didn't seal to the ground, so we got bugs in from the underneath. The next morning rolls around, and since the season doesn't actually open until Monday, we're going to spend Saturday looking around doing a little exploring. Hey, good thing you found your sunglasses. Yeah, I was wondering where they went. Always take out more than you brought in. Since we're using my vehicle to run around, every time we come back, we gotta redo the hooch system. And with the wind, it was easier said than done, that's for sure. On Sunday, the highlight of what we did was just shoot our guns and make sure they're on, which again was easier said than done considering the amount of wind. So a couple caveats here. The audio is either garbage or non-existent. The external mic malfunctioned and the wind was terrible, so if when it was working or the built-in microphone in the camera was working, it just got blown out by the wind. So Monday morning, eventually, the season rolls around and we go out for some prairie dogs. We didn't start out so well. We had some misses to start things off. Right here is a little slow with the camera. I was on the wrong prairie dog, but the results are obvious. We didn't miss that one either. Or this one.
again slow on the camera, but the result is obvious. I think I got him a little bit. You got him. Solid hit there. That guy was cool as a cucumber and didn't seem to care at all. Until that one. Again, I was slow with the camera on that one. He shot him just off screen. I can see him. He's kicking, kicking. See him? He's circling the drain. Came out. Like, why'd you run out? Jeff got him with that one. I think you hit him a little. <laughs> I think I might have found my new favorite rifle. We warmed up Hit. a bit. Kicking. <laughs> so when we weren't out shooting prairie dogs or hanging around the camp, we were out looking for rattlesnakes. And we had a really tough time finding them. So even just seeing this garter snake was cool. Not what we're looking for, but we'll take it. Look at that little chunk of water right there. Well, he was a little guy. The wind did about blow our camp apart one day. And we started that day with a miss too. Right here in slow-mo you can see the bullet whiz right past. Soop. Again late with the camera, but the result was obvious. We'll slow this one down. Here as I'm getting set up I kick the camera but this guy's just on the edge of the screen, so I'll bring it in. Yeah. Jeff nailed that one. I think he got him just a little bit. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. So besides the wind and the technical difficulties with the microphones, we were also battling the heat every day. So then we're split up looking for rattlesnakes and when you know it, that's when Jeff found one. No kidding. Well, I feel like, kind of like I redeemed myself on this. He was exactly where I keep saying They've got to be. I started poking around in a right on the property line there. You know where that fence is? It's a pile of deadfall, and there was a bunch of look like a mouse home around it, like where the rocks up and stuff. I called you like six, seven times, and you weren't answering. I'm like, damn, he's probably too far off. But look at that success. I 
bring the sweet baby rays for nothing. <laughs> By the way, perfect. That side worked perfect. The hook side busted off pretty early on. Again with the audio issues. We got nothing here, so I'm going to paraphrase. We got ourselves our snake, and we're going to clean it for cooking. So we're going to cut down the belly of the snake. We'll go from where Jeff cut off the head, and you split it down toward the anus. And the skin will peel right off. Especially if it's still warm. Then you detach the innards up where the head is cut off and you can just pull them all out. And at any time here, once the skin is peeled all the way back to the rattler, you can cut it off and you can have it all intact. Clean up the skin real nice. Clean up the body of the snake for cooking. So what Jeff's saying here is we're going to put it the snake in a Ziploc bag with some V8. The V8 is a little bit acidic and so it should help break down and tenderize the meat as well as provide it with a little bit of a marinade. It would have been nice to have some lemon juice for that. So here's that snake skin and Jeff's thinking about covering his black canvas knife sheath with it. Cooking it on the grill on low heat because somebody who lives in Colorado forgot the aluminum foil. So we scrape the meat off the bones and we're going to make a little sandwich. You're going to need more than one snake. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> so we're going with a half of a half sandwich a piece. Cheers. Eventually the week is up, so I'm following Jeff out. He's going to head home, and I'm going to head home refit, and I've got to do an elk recon with Brian. We'll close this out with some photos of the week. Southeast Colorado is definitely underestimated. The canyons there are like reverse mountains. They're really beautiful. Hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give us a subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.